All right, welcome to this live session. I was actually having some uh, little technical uh, issues, but I think that has been resolved right now. Uh, you should be able to see my screen at your end. And if you are joining in for the very first time, uh, please click on the settings tab here. And make sure your video quality is set to the 480 pixel so you can get a better streamer quality at your end. All right, let's uh, look into the Forex Factory economical calendar for uh, tomorrow. Today is already gone. Uh, so let's see uh, what's happening uh, tomorrow. Okay, it's uh, 7 10 p.m. right now. It's uh, 7 10 p.m. in my country. So let's see what's uh, what's in the calendar for tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow it's uh, a big day for uh, the uh, markets with that uh, FOMC uh, statement uh, schedule uh, to be released around this very time tomorrow. Okay, this is a, this is a big uh, a news event, and I am sure that is contributing to uh, slowing the uh, market, especially um, American dollar crosses. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, we also have a Euro, all the uh, Euro, uh, uh, French and Italian bank holiday right there affecting the Euro currency. Uh, that should also slow the market. Uh, at any rate, tomorrow is going to be a volatile day, especially for the American dollar crosses, as this uh, news announcement uh, will be pumped uh, into the market. Okay. Aside from that, we have our other high impact news events that will also be uh, flooded into uh, the market. Okay. All right, so uh, right now we need to be careful trading all American dollar crosses from uh, today. You want to start observing that uh, today so you don't uh, get trapped in uh, any American dollar uh, trade. And if you are trapped, then you want to uh, take protective measures and make sure you are not hit by that news announcement. Okay, let's uh, go back to the uh, live trading room and then into the charts and uh, conduct uh, our analysis for uh, this uh, session okay uh, let's uh, see the euro against the american dollar this is the uh, one or time frame as you can see ahead of the uh, fomc and the uh, nfp on friday okay fomc is tomorrow nfp is on friday ahead of this uh, two heavyweight news announcement you can see how price is now beginning to behave uh, that's simply because uh, most of the market movers are out of the uh, market waiting for that news announcement uh, to be released. So not much of volume for this uh, pair within this week until those news announcements are being released. So this chart is going to be moved uh, basically by that those are news announcement. So in the daily time frame, our technical analysis uh, remains the same where we talked about this uh, channel formation in the daily time frame. And that price should find a support around that area although um, price action here is not really clear right now uh, anything can happen but you need to bear in mind that uh, this is a level of support you should not be clicking on your sell button against this level of support uh, this pattern again overall suggests uh, an overall bullish push for the euro against the american dollar so be very careful going short even if you want to go short, then you want this uh, level of support to be broken. You want price uh, to be sitting below before you want to search for your short opportunities. Otherwise, uh, price is sitting above here. This is uh, support. Okay, that is support. So you should not be going short right now. Okay. Um, all right. Give some uh, about the uh, daily trend line uh, from not so south okay i'll look at that the australian dollar against the canadian dollar look at that all right so the euro against the american dollar the uh, month is coming to an end uh across all uh, pairs so we should expect uh, uh this abnormal market volatility for today in the four hours time frame um nothing really it's been a very quiet one uh, price is waiting for those uh heavyweight news announcement we were actually following a nicer market flow setup in the one hour time frame where we were looking to trade that reversal move uh, off the breakout of this uh, flat top. I think we had a line. Uh, this was the line that we had. Let me just try to uh, get that back. Okay, we had that uh, level. Let's just keep it here. 
All right, uh, let me be more accurate with that line. Oops, sorry about that. I am struggling, uh, trying to get this uh, line accurately. All right, anyway, I will just uh, keep it here. Let's uh, drop it right there. Oops, sorry about that again. This is uh, getting messy. Okay, let's just keep it there. Uh, that is not where I actually wanted to keep it. Okay, so this was our line. This level here has uh, resistance, and we had that leaning uh, line right there. So we're all happy that we got the breakout to the upside. Okay, price uh, gave us that breakout. Now, you need to know that we didn't take this trade, and the reason we didn't take this trade is because all of those important aspects of a breakout uh, pullback, sorry, pullback was happening in the very quiet session of the markets. And we don't trade this strategy or uh, anything between uh, the Tokyo all right, session. We don't trade the market flow strategy at that time. So that breakout happened quite late. Uh, the pullback happened quite late. Uh, the reason we don't trade it is because price tend to lose momentum. Uh, the market goes quiet and uh, this is a very uh, powerful momentum trading strategy. So whenever there is no momentum, you want to stay out of the uh, chart. So as you can see, after that breakout, see what happened. Price simply went sideways. Okay, Sideways right there. So no trade was taken by us in the American dollar against the sorry, in the euro against the American dollar. At any rate, uh, we have now readjusted the uh, price pattern to mean a possible channel. Although the channel itself is not clear enough, but we will just keep those lines for the sake of technical analysis. Let's just keep it uh, here. Okay, that's it. Um, that's what has been happening. Sideways price behavior for the euro against the American dollar. Okay. That's it. A very thin market volume. The best course of action here as we approach the FOMC and the NFP, okay, is to stay completely out of the market, at least for this chart. You don't want to be trading the euro against the American dollar from now on. All right, uh, enough of that. Uh, let's now look into uh, those trades that we took and uh, try to uh, analyze what uh, has been happening. Uh, with those trades. 